In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sora AI mobile app to generate videos. So we can see the Sora app here on the bottom right. This is the one that you want to get. I'm going to open this up. When you first get the app, you'll have to create your account. It said I needed an invite first, but 24 hours later, it just lets everyone in, I believe. And then once you have an account, it will look like this. I'm currently on the account tab on the bottom of the screen. You can add a profile picture and more information here. I just haven't really filled out my bio. There will be a for you page, the tab on the bottom left. I think it's blocking these right now because I'm screen recording, but this will kind of figure out what you're interested in and the type of content you want to see and even give you inspiration and ideas for the videos that you make. Now before I bore you too much, let's go to like an example video of something that I made that could be pretty interesting. It's not showing because I'm screen recording. You can see the prompt that I typed in there. So pretty crazy what it can create with a single prompt, like a sentence that you give it. Now you see I used a tag there. That's basically my username on the app. So they have this thing called cameos. Basically when you go to post, you won't have a cameo or a app avatar right away you'll have to set it up so where mine says 100 charizards here on the left you'll be able to tap on that it's going to scan your face you have to like look up look left right you have to say a few words and then it'll generate like an avatar of yourself that you can use in any video another thing to note when you're generating your avatar you can see like the stuff behind me here if i were to generate my avatar it'll kind of put some of this stuff in the scenery of my videos. So you could do that if you want to generate videos in a certain scenery. If you don't, I recommend just going all white background, just a plain white background. And these are also avatars of other people and celebrities, so you can tag them and use them in your videos as well. When you create your cameo, it's gonna give you an option. Basically, you can set it so only you use it, like your friends can use it, or anybody can use it. And that choice is up to you. So most of you are probably just gonna make it so only you can use it. Then no weird stuff is going on. And when you create a video, it's not automatically posted anywhere you have the option to post it like these are all my drafts right here and then if i wanted to post this i would have to tap post video but let's go into like a creation of a video so you just want to tap the plus sign on the bottom of the screen and then i could tap my name and we'll just pick jake paul because it's right here are exploring and and then just hit the upload button and then that's going to generate the video it typically takes like one minute and right now it's very early stages. It only generates 10 second videos. No matter what you type, it's just gonna give you a 10 second video. So while that's generating, I'll do another one. So let's see what it can create with this. So it's generating these two videos for me right now. Now what I can tell you is that when you create a video with just yourself, you don't have to post it or anything, but you can tap these dots in the top right corner and you can just download or delete the video. Now when you create a video with another celebrity or another person, let me see if I can find an example here. Like this one has the Ricky guy in it. When I tap those dots, I'm not able to download that. There is kind of a workaround. You can post the video and then download it and then delete the video. So when you are using other people in your videos, there are more restrictions. So you can see these are generating. The first one is about halfway done. While those are generating, I'll show you another like cool concept that I did. So I did this one here. And my idea for this was it's just gonna be like a movie trailer. So I typed in the earth splits in two, lovers are separated with no way to contact each other. And this is what it generated, which is pretty crazy. And then I kind of added a second part, which is this right here. And you can see the prompt that I typed in for that as well. So I basically just took these into CapCut. I combined the clips here. I added some text on top. And you could do this with any video editor or Instagram. I know, I, I love you. So I just created like kind of a mini movie trailer in a few minutes. Okay, these two have been generated here. So I could go into this, post it, download it, and then delete it. So I don't know, it might not be the best clip, but you can play with the prompts and tweak these and figure out what works best, what your style is. But it did create something. I just think it's cool you can type in like a sentence or two prompt and it generates you this 10 second video within like a minute and then you can do whatever you want with it. It's still like kind of bad, but really 
good at the same time. It's like 10% of as good as it can get, I think. But once they keep improving it little by little, this is gonna be an amazing tool for content creators. And you can generate up to 30 videos a day for free right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.